today we're going to do seafoam treatment on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add this has it takes 5 quarts, but I'm going to add 4 ounces of the sea foam into the engine case that way it cleans all the valves lifters and everything and then I'll throw the rest of it on the gas tank and then I'll spray the carburetor or the uh, throttle body uh, with uh, this the spray one that will we clean everything from the intake clean all the way to the uh, combustion chamber valves everything all right so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and I have this one ounce measurer, so I'll do four of these and throw them into the engine bay or into the oil case. All right, here's the first ounce. Go ahead and throw it into the engine. Wow, this is probably going to take forever. I'm also going to do the same to my 2006 on the Civic Si. I am getting this thing all over my hands. Shit, it's hard to squeeze in there. Yeah, I need like both hands to do this shit. All right. Uh, I also have a seafoam treatment for my Civic. Here's the spray. Here's the one for the gas tank. I bought this big one so we could throw this one into the engine, the rest into the van. And this one's gonna get the full into my gas tank. Just got my sticker. Yeah, boy. Oh. Sorry, I drive a, drive a lot of cars. I'm always moving different cars. You never know which one's which. Sometimes I'm like, I wish I'm driving my SI, and I'm like, oh shit, I am driving my SI. <laughs> like one time, sorry, I'm trying to get this stupid lid to come off, but I can't. All right, and like I said, this one is gonna go completely into my gas tank. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. My gas tank is like half full. So uh, I'm going to run this sucker like empty. That way it's really nice and concentrated. Really nice and concentrated. Sweet. All right, so let's go back to the van now. All right, and like I said, this one's going into the Odyssey. Put the rest of it in there. All right, and we're gonna put our oil cap back on. And we're gonna drive to LA. Uh, it's just to change it every 200 miles. So we might just go to LA. I'll get an oil change down there and everything's gonna be cleaned up on top. Sweet. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, that's why I'm doing all this services. I just changed the downstream oxygen sensor because uh, I changed the upper stream and the check engine light keeps coming on. So it must be the downstream. Uh, my wife says it is killing us a little bit on gas. That's probably why. Uh, this might be another reason why. So the next step I'm going to do is I've seen videos where they stick them in here right at the throttle plate. But I've noticed after the reviews, it's only clean where the nozzle is at. So the big problem is bypassing the uh, mass airflow sensor. So I think I'm going to connect it right here. Uh, I'm gonna stick the little nose this all up in here maybe like to right here that way it's far away from the oxygen or the uh, mass airflow sensor should have no problems that way it gets the whole throttle body plate everything uh, so first thing we got to do start up the car let it warm up for two minutes all right so I let the van idle for about 10 minutes I already went ahead and loosened this up this is a 10 millimeter Woo! Almost lost you, 10. 
Man, everybody loses the 10. Fuck. All right, next thing we're gonna do is remove this. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and just insert this right through there. Actually, we might just have to take that off even more. All right, I'm gonna do this with both hands. I hate to take off the, the filter box just to put that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there real quick. All right, there it is, semi, semi shut. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hook everything up, get everything ready. All right, what I'm gonna do is I grab the upper piece from my jack. I'm gonna start up the car, put this here, put it on the seat, and adjust the seat to 2000 RPM. All right, there it is. A little over 2000s, it's close enough. And now, spray. And it says to spray for seven minutes, run engine, loosen up, remove intake bottle, uh, body, boot from throttle body with hook guide and cleaning place and uh, yada yada. Aha, with vehicle and park and parking brake applied, start engine and hold RPM steady for 2000 RPM. Uh, spray continuously contents till empty approximately seven minutes. So, ah, no, I gotta do it with both hands. So yeah, I gotta probably do this with both hands real quick. All right, so I think you need to hold it upside down. I'm not too sure. It still feels pretty cool. All right, I guess it's supposed to take this long. Still spraying. So. I'm gonna continue doing it. All right, the bottle's almost empty. And we're still steady at 2000 RPM. You can see it right there on my heads up display. Really can't see it, but the light above the two is lit up, so that means it's good. Still going. All right, I think it's about empty. Yep, it's empty already. That's a little bit, almost nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. Still sitting at two. Good job, stick. Now we're gonna let that sucker hot soak for 10 minutes and we'll start it back up. Look, it's dropped something out already of the exhaust pipe. <laughs> so we'll give it the 10 minutes, we'll start it back up and we'll see if it throws some smoke for now that way we're, we're gonna do is put this thing back together just like so and tie it back down my gorgeous ass baby my wife hi baby <laughs> All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Go ahead and start it up. See if it's throwing any smoke. Oh, it threw some. Let's see if it does. I don't see no smoke coming out. Oh yeah, I see it now. my stick back into place oh no my stick failed me there it is there it is throwing all the white smoke or the uh carbon deposits it's quite a bit it's 
to give it some more gas. Whoa, maybe too much. Pump you, pump all that carbon out. And we just gotta wait till it's all clear. All right, it pretty much stopped smoking already. Guess we're good. Tell this sucker to ease off, jeez. Ease off, homie. Good job, man. All right, sweet. So, we should be good to go. We should be able to save hella gas now. Change the oxygen sensor through fuel treatment, uh, injector treatment, to clean the deposits, carburetor deposits, clean up the deposits from the top. Heck yeah, let's do it. Let's get ready to go. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.